Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. It's Filthy. We are in Ireland. You can see here from our hotel room that is the view. And today we are spending our first day in Dublin and I'm here with my brother. There he is. Woo! So we're gonna go explain right now. We start our day walking to Trinity College, which is the oldest university in Ireland. Besides having a beautiful campus, it also holds the Book of Kells, which is a very old manuscript of the original Gospels and was written in approximately 800 AD. I also lived on this campus when I did an internship in Dublin a couple years ago, so it was really nice to visit the old dorm room. Surprisingly enough, it started raining right when we left Trinity College, so we headed to Grafton Street. Besides having lots of shops, Grafton Street also usually has a lot of street artists and some really good musicians as well. We then headed to St. Stephen's Green, which is a large public park within the city center. As you can see, the flowers here were in full bloom and looked very beautiful and you could notice this throughout the gardens and then throughout the parks we went to in Ireland. So if you want to see all the flowers in their glory, I would definitely recommend coming in April or May. We then headed to Dublin Castle, which you can go around the grounds for free or pay a small amount to go inside. We decided just to walk around the grounds and see the outside of the castle, but if you want to learn more about Dublin's history, I definitely recommend going inside. Slight rain, here's Eric. Nice, see you next. We then went to Two Pups Coffee, which I would definitely recommend for either a bite to eat or just a coffee. It was really cute and the staff was very friendly. We are at the Whiskey Distillery right now and we are going to do a tour. So here we go. So I've done the Guinness factory tour and I wanted to do something a little bit different for this trip. So we did the Teeling Whiskey tour, which I'd really recommend. And at the end, we each got cocktails, which were extremely tasty. We then went to Temple Bar to explore the different pubs that were there. So we got a pint, some food, and enjoyed a lot of live music. It is a little touristy, but it, it was fun for, for what it was. We started pretty early on the next day and did a road trip from Dublin to Cliffs of Moher. Hi everyone, we are in Anthony right now about to get coffee. We started the day with about a two hour road trip to, we are going to Cliffs of Moher next. So we're taking a quick coffee and crate stop and we're going to a place called The Nook. Toast. Woo. It's too close. <laughs> we then headed to Cliffs of Moor. I've been here before, my brother had not, so I think it's something that everyone should do when you're in Ireland because it's just it's breathtaking and it's just so big and you can walk alongside the cliffs on a nice trail. So definitely would recommend, it can get quite busy, especially in the summer, but would recommend at least seeing it, doing a little bit of the coastal walk. Okay, we are hiking around the cliffs somewhere. There is there, and then there they are. It is a beautiful day out.
we then headed on a beautiful drive to Galway, which would be our home for the night. history of this castle? I don't know anything about the castle. I'm sorry, I think it's closed today. It is a castle yeah, in Ireland. We made it to Galway and first went to the Spanish Arch and then headed towards the town center and went to Key Street, which is a very lively street with lots of street performances and pubs. Then headed a little bit off the main street and went to McSwiggins, which I would highly recommend. The food is really nice and the service was great. The ambiance too of the fireplace was just really cozy and nice. Good morning everyone, it's Easter, so happy Easter. We're gonna start our car journey very soon and we are super excited. We started the day by heading to Limerick, which we did a little tour of the city walking around before heading to Mass at St. Mary's. So we are now in the car. Eric's getting our gas station pulled up for us and it is pouring. So you can see here, we just ran through Limerick in the pouring rain. We went to mass in the church. St. Mary's was really, really beautiful. So that was really nice touch. And now we're gonna head off to Killarney. We then did a jaunting car tour of Killarney National Park, which was beautiful. We really enjoyed our tour. Our guide was, was great. He grew up in the area and gave us a lot of good insight into the national park and then Clarny in general. Get your Guinness later. We then did the first little bit of the Ring of Kerry, starting with the Torque Waterfall. We then drove a little bit further on the Ring of Kerry. I think in general, the Ring of Kerry is definitely worth going to. It's a scenic drive around Southwest Ireland's County Kerry and it's just a beautiful way to see more of the countryside of Ireland. There's waterfalls, there's a nice coastal bit, and then there's also beautiful estates and castles. So lots to do, lots to see. I would highly recommend at least doing some of it. As you can see here, it started raining again, which is just something I think you can expect in almost every journey to Ireland if you're there for a couple days. So I think good advice here is just to keep with your plans and maybe bring a raincoat. Thank you. 
And here we are going by a sheep farm. I do not know where the sheep are. We then went to Clarney Brewing Company where we got a flight of beers and some pretty tasty pizza. Okay, we have arrived at our hotel after doing a little bit of the Ring of Kerry. You can see we have this and it's really, really pretty. The view of our hotel is really pretty. I took a video of it. I'll show it now. But it's gorgeous. I really like this room. You can see it's just really, really spacious, really clean. Staff was super nice, would very highly recommend. We then had a very delicious breakfast at our bed and breakfast, which is included in our rate. And you could order off the menu and they had a little cart where you could also pick up fruits and croissants. Hi everyone, welcome to a new day. This is me and this is Eric over here. <laughs> We are leaving today to do the Gap up Dunlow and then we're going to do the Blarney Castle and Blarney Stone and it should be really nice. The weather has been on and off. It's been partly rainy, partly sunny, but mostly rainy and dreary, but I feel like that's just how Ireland is. So it is an authentic experience, which is good. And here we go. We then drove to the Gap of Dunlo. I think these streets in particular show you how narrow it can be, which would be quite terrifying, especially if there are cars going the other way. So I think you just have to be super alert whenever you're driving in Ireland. You can see right there, just really, really narrow. You have to slow down when you go through and pass the other cars. We then made it to the start of the Gap of Dunlo trail. It's about 20 minutes from the car park to the actual Gap. Along the way, it's, it's really beautiful, beautiful botany. Nom, 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 nom. And lots of animals, sheep, goats. I hear the sheep! It was a beautiful walk. You can drive it, but I think it's quite hard with the horses that go along this path and also people. So I definitely recommend parking and then walking to the gap. Why does that guy have so many colors left? Yellow? Yellow, red. yeah. Okay, we're gonna jump one, two, three. There's a little baby. There's a little baby. Our last major stop of the tour was at the Blarney Castle, which famously hosts the Blarney Stone. We went upstairs. You can go to the top of the castle to kiss the Blarney Stone. You can see there some people wait the 90 minutes to kiss it. We only had to wait about 10, 15 minutes. But if you kiss the stone, then you'll get the gift of the gab, which means you'll be able to speak easily and confidently. I didn't know going into this that the stone wasn't just right there. You actually have to lie down and people are there to help you kiss the stone. It's quite the experience and you have to lean far back. Here's the poison garden. We then walked around the rest of the grounds. So we went to the poison garden, which had a lot of poisonous plants. And then we also went through a cave on the side of the castle. Not sure I would 100% recommend this one. It was really muddy and really short and hard to squeeze through. We then did a small detour to Cashel, where we saw the Rock of Cashel, and we got out, we walked around, stretched our legs. It was a really nice stop on the way to the airport.
Okay, we are driving now back to Dublin Airport to return our car. We are sadly heading home later tonight, but it's been a really, really nice trip. And Eric, have you had a good time? Oh yeah, great time. It's been a great time. So I'll see you next time.